Culiacan is another area. Mazatlan, very popular too with some tourists. Authorities captured the son of an imprisoned drug kingpin known as Joaquin El Chapo Guzman. His son is alleged to be the leader of his father's former cartel. Gang members, very angry. They reacted by setting up their own roadblocks, imagine, and setting fires to vehicles, hugely defiant of the Mexican government and its authority. An airport was even attacked, and two airplanes were hit by gunfire. More than 100 flights have now been canceled as a result. Let's show you the map here to give you a better idea. Los Mochis is one of the areas affected. Basave, another one, Culiacan, as I mentioned, and Mazatlan is another one. We should also point out that some of the other very popular places, uh, more so than these ones, such as Puerto Vallarta and Cancun and Playa del Carmen, uh, there in the Gulf, are all unaffected by this. But it's cold comfort for those who are in those regions, and that includes my guest, Karina Dal Olson, full-time traveler who is now sheltering in place in Mazatlan. Good to see you, and thanks for taking the time to come on the program. How are you guys doing? Well, we're doing good, thanks. Um, we're still staying indoors and not walking around too much, but everything is pretty calm around here. Yeah, so you're staying, you're sheltering in a place effectively in, in the place you're staying at. Yeah, well, we're living in a bus, but we have some friends that are visiting. And in case anything could get too bad, we would go in the house and stay there. Mm. But so far, we haven't had any real issues around here, but it was a little bit scary yesterday. What kind of communication are you getting from uh, officials in terms of uh, what the situation is? Are you getting much? Well, we're being told that all tourists, especially, should stay indoor, but also all the locals. Um, we're being advised not to go outside and uh, be too visible because they could be afraid that tourists would be targeted as um, in terms of kidnappings and killings, like the last time they caught the same guy. You said that things got a little scary on Thursday. Uh, what, what happened? Well, we were walking downtown. Just uh, We weren't realizing what was happening. We were actually just out for a walk. And suddenly we saw that people were getting, um, were, they were getting thrown out of um, restaurants and people were leaving all the hotels, being packed up in big tourist buses and driven off. And all the shops were closing and they were basically kicking people out. And we were wondering what was going on because we hadn't heard anything because there's not a lot of local news around here. So it wasn't until we came back and went online and we figured out that they actually put the whole state in lockdown and was advising everybody to go home and stay indoors. Um, yeah, yeah. What, what's your experience been, Karina, you know, traveling in Mexico, sort of bigger picture? In the bigger picture, we always felt pretty safe. We actually, we love it. We've been road tripping uh, last year for six weeks to the Yucatan and back to Mexico City, and we never had any bad incidents. And we've been here for four months now, going down through Baja and then taking the ferry over to Mazatlan. And then now we're here visiting friends. And so far, we always felt really safe. Um, so yes, yesterday was the first night we fell asleep to machine gun fire. Wow. Uh, does that change at all your plans now in the days and weeks ahead? What's going on right now? Not really. The only the only reason we're changing is that we're just going to stay lay, lay low for a few more days. We're going to stay here instead of leaving because we were going towards Guadalajara, but I think that's might that might not be the smartest idea right now. So we will just wait here, see how it in how everything falls out, and yeah, take it uh, slow. Yeah, and people who live in Mazatlan, uh, Mexicans who you're interacting with, I mean, no doubt they're also uh, condemning all of this violence and probably you know really upset that this is going on. Yeah, I said, they said and in the beginning they said, well, they're used to it. The cartels are always fighting the military. But they said they never before re, um, had a whole state being in lockdown and they never before seen a city go totally quiet within like 30 minutes from thousands of people in the streets to absolutely nothing. No people. And yeah, it's it was kind of scary. It was there was this sense of um, insecurity yesterday. Every time you walked out with your dog, you're kind of looking over your shoulder, afraid of every car coming because you wouldn't know if it was good guys or bad guys. Um, we didn't see any real action here, but we did hear the gunfire and the military helicopters in the air. So, yeah. Karina, thank you for taking some time to come on the program with us here on CTV News in Canada. And please keep in touch with us as we continue to follow this story very closely. No problem. Thank you.